Hi guys, this is Games I Recently Bought, part 14 or 15, one of them. So, like, share, uh, subscribe. Once in a while I do this where I talk about my recent pickups. So, these are games, uh, for the most part, that I have played uh, for the first time. Uh, Terminator, uh, with the exception of Terminator 3, which I had many years ago, but lost. So, I had to uh, rebuy it. So, yeah, um, here we go. So, I'm going to start off uh, with the best. The best is up here, Mass Effect 2. And based on the two to three hours I played of it, oh my god, this is this is really good game. I heard a lot of good, a uh, good uh, things about the game, but it's very dial. It's a uh, good in its dialogue, the presentations, the graphics, the you know the mechanics, um, the overall you know lore like of the world. You know it's a uh, pretty big and the civilizations, the different groups, right? And yeah, like uh, it's really cool. It's really really, really cool. Uh, I like it too because, it, uh, like, I love sci-fi. I love science fiction. It reminds me a lot of Halo, but it's third person, right? And I love, I love a third person more than first person. I feel, but yeah, so far so good. It's really, really good. It's really, really, really good so far. Um, it's probably gonna make it into my top twenty-five games of all time. Maybe once I play uh, ten more hours of it or uh, fifteen more hours, and I'm gonna see. But man, it's good. This is a really good game. I highly recommend it. Avatar the game, right beside it, uh, two to three hours in so far, so it's a third person, no, it's a, it's one of those movie games, right, so those ones, they are hit and miss, but I really like what I'm seeing in it so far, um, however, it feels a lot, I uh, know uh, the problem is that, there is a one problem with that, uh, it feels like a fetch quest, so, you know, doing a lot of errands, you know, going into the jungle, uh, retrieving this item, leaving the jungle. And the game is, uh, you know, uh, repetitive. But uh, in exchange, uh, it is challenging, though. Uh, you will die quickly if you're not careful. Um, and uh, there's a, you know, uh, there's a very major choice uh, in the start of the game where you can either join the alien uh, civilization or you uh, stay true to your human and uh, military background so uh there's a huge there's a huge choice and uh that really uh, makes the game uh, interesting right beside it is sports champions which i haven't played as yet or it's one of the it was like five dollars um really cool though but uh now uh, i'm not really into sports games but i saw this for like five dollars like oh, okay i might as well add to the uh, collection right because i because i want to get to 100 ps3 games and I'm going to uh, make a video like when I, I get to that. Right beside is Spyro. Uh, another a, a good game uh, out of this pickup. Or uh, these pickups. I, I talked about it before. So I'm not going to talk about it much here. But Spyro again. It's a Spyro remake. And it's three games in one. Anytime I can get three games in one. It's amazing. Because there's lots of content. And lots of uh, replayability. And again. Are you getting more for let no are you getting more for less for a cheaper price basically so yeah three games in one and i look at my recent video and i i did on this very cartoony like and animated like but it's very fun very fun and easy to get into very easy easy controls yeah it's viral uh this is this is where it's gonna kind of be like some sort of a hit or miss Spinner Cell Double Agent, which I only played 10 minutes of. The controls I don't like. It's so hard to play this game. The movement, the mechanics. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But maybe I uh, like when I play more of it, that's gonna get better. And uh there's a lot of Splinter Cell games. I don't know which one this is. Whether if it's Splinter Cell 5 or Splinter Cell 6. Um it's a shame because I I with uh, with the more recent ones, the the uh, conviction and blacklist, I really love that. So, I was thinking that this one is gonna be like those. I know it is. It's just the controls are hard to get into. Burnout Three, which I really love a lot. I love it. Um, the PS Two era had great racing games. Um, you don't really see there's uh there is a lack of good uh, racing games around now. But um, Burnout Three, this was like in my opinion that uh you know. During the a peak of our racing games, where you had games like Need for Speed, Opera Suit 2, Midnight Club 2, Midnight Club 3 Remake, a Remix. Um, what's the other one again? Need for Speed Underground. You had a ton of flat out head on. You had a ton of great racing games. Uh, now, the only problem now, at, at this one, there's a lot of content, lots of content. Um, you know, a ton of different vehicles. 
Um, now the only problem is that there is a motion blur in the environment, so it can be blinding to the eye if you have problems with, you know, like I'm a nearsighted, right? So the motion blur is blindsiding. So there is motion blur in the environment. And um, the, yeah, the overall animations are not able to keep up with the motion blur at times. But aside from that, though, it's a good game. It's, you know, the crash animations, the, the super fast racing, fast action pack racing. And yeah, and, uh, I, you know, I could play this game, uh, for, you know, uh, you know, for a long time because it's just so much content. There's lots of content in it, a different content variety. Terminator 3 Resident Evil Machines, um, a game I had many, 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 many years ago, like when 15 back, 15 years ago, I lost the game. I couldn't find it, so I had to rebuy it on Amazon. So probably only like four dollars. And uh, with me looking to, you know, really build my PS2 collection, um, yeah, Terminator 3 so far. Mediocre, very mediocre. Um, it's like an old kind of first person shooter type game, and it's a movie game, so you know, these are hit or miss. This one is more of a miss, very limited in the camera view, the movements so feel very limited, repetitive enemy designs, like bad, just bad audio. Overall, the audio is so bad, like the you know, the when the uh, machines, you know, uh, the drones go around, everything is so loud in the environment, you can't really hear what's going on, and it's kind of, like, you have to really uh, turn the game down, but I, I don't know, I, I, the audio is just so weird. Um, uh, the audio, like, in the guns, you know, and uh, the laser bullets, they're really good, though, they're top-notch, but, yeah, Terminator 3, um, but, yeah, it just, if it had better mechanics and better overall audio, uh, it would be better. Right beside it is X Blaze, which I got two days ago. So I finished the first four levels in it, and this is a hack and slash game. It's like the older God of Wars. I really, I really like these type of games. Um, now it's not exploration. It's not an exploration game. It's a linear game. So you're, you know, uh, you know, uh, progressing level to level to level. You have to kill. You have to fight every enemy in one area, uh, defeat them, and then you uh, progress. Um, you know, and you get magic spells, right? Fire spells, black hole spells, ice spells, and elemental spells. Um, tons of upgrades. Now, the only problem is that there is a spawn issue for the enemy, so the enemies will, uh, they will spawn, you no, know, like, over and over and over again. Like, it's almost like some sort of uh, uncontrollable spawn, which is a problem, so... It's going to slow down your uh, uh, progression like of the game. Um, now, I don't know. I, I never heard of this company before. I never heard of the South Peak. I never heard of the company that made it. So, it's my first time playing uh, this type of this, uh, company game. So, I'm not sure how good it is. But, please, uh, let me know uh, below. Um, now, I look cool. A cool cover. And a uh, cool uh, gameplay uh, photos here uh, like on the back. Uh, that's why I picked it up and... I had so calm a confrontation which I wasn't working. I, I exchanged it in for this at uh, this one retro game store. So yeah, I hope it's I hope the rest of it is good. So yeah, uh, these are the eight games, eight new pickups. And like, share, subscribe, guys. Share the video all over, and let me know if you guys have any ideas. And again, so far, the, uh, you know, uh, the best is Mass Effect Two and Spyro. Those two are the best. Um, you know, like in this uh, out of these. So, uh, thanks for watching.